Hey guys, it's Risky here. I've got some more exciting news for y'all today regarding the upcoming update in February. Expansive Worlds recently posted the preliminary patch notes for the new update, and I must say a lot of these fixes and improvements are actually very nice. So this should be a great update that we can all expect to improve the quality of the game overall. I will leave a link in the description to this list if you want to read the full notes, but for today's video, I will just be pointing out some of the most important ones. In the improvement section here, starting off with a performance update, they have a full rework of animal home ranges, populations, and schedules on Mississippi Acres Preserve, Baranga Savannah, Rancho Del Arroyo, and Quattro Colinas. This will boost the performance for users. And how can a boost in performance be bad? I mean, it can. So this is nice to see, especially for the console guys. I've always seen a ton of comments from console players saying that their game is so laggy. And I know from experience, I used to play this game on PS4. My first videos for Call of the Wild, or even on my channel, were on PS4. So yeah, I know the game definitely has never really been super, super optimized for consoles, especially. And sorry if my voice is kind of weird today. I know it keeps kind of changing tones. Like my nose is kind of plugged up on the side. So for the miscellaneous notes, they have increased sensitivity of gamepad and mouse for all one times magnification devices, including the red dot reflex sight, aluminum iron sights, and all one-time scopes for relevant weapons. If you guys remember a while back, I went messing around with the red dot sight, and I really wanted to like it because it is kind of nice, but it was just very hard to aim with. It seemed pretty inaccurate. It seems like we'll actually be able to use those sights properly now, and I'm really happy about that because maybe the red dot sight will be way more useful, and we'll put it on a gun and go hunt with it for once. Along with that, we now have 10 point-to-point -point transport sites along the riverbank in Mississippi Acres. You won't be able to see them on the map, but if you come across a little boat, there will be some kind of trigger point that will send you across the river. I don't think it will be animated or anything, but it will probably just be a quick little loading screen similar to the tents. All right, moving on to the actual bug fix section of the patch notes, I'll go ahead and get started with the critical and featured geese and ducks will get attracted to callers it's about time i'll actually maybe get to go out and do some geese hunting again it's been a while since those have been working and they fixed a lod issue for the female red deer that caused them to sometimes appear invisible at varying distances and now i'm just going to give you a quick rundown of the rest of the bug fixes that are the most important here so common raccoon is now class two animal instead of class one which um i don't know how to feel about that one i'll let you guys decide fix the problem where it an item could not be switched until the sound ended while using deer bleak collar and road deer collar. The 270 warden is now available for console players. I think that is the uh the camouflage 270 I, i'm not exactly sure retrieved arrows will be available in the inventory now i'm not sure really where they went before but apparently not in the inventory and uh, that's probably where they're supposed to go that would make sense fix the issue where great ones appeared as diamonds to users other than the host in multiplayer session that's pretty nice to see fixed there Scent Eliminator hud improvements including duration indicator that right there is really nice now, when you spray that stuff on, you don't have to just keep a mental note of how long it's been. You actually will be able to check. Of course, all of these fixes and improvements are important, but I just wanted to mention the ones that might interest people the most. At least they caught my eye the most. If you want to read it yourself, notes will be in the description there. There's also a section here called Considerations, and here they have stated in bold, full population resets will occur across Quattro Colinas, Rancho Del Arroyo, Mississippi Acres Preserve, and Verhanga Savannah as a result of our optimization efforts. Efforts. This is great to see them trying to make their game more optimized. I'm really crossing my fingers that this update will fix and improve the game and not be another one of those updates that fixes five things and then breaks 32 more. This sounds like an update that the game desperately needs. And in order for the game to keep progressing, they need to fix these things and get them out of the way. Just hold off on the DLCs and get the game fixed and stable. That's really what a majority of us in the community want anyways, is a good working game. With that said, I will be sure to keep you all up to date on this coming update. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to smash that like button. It really does help the video a lot. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Later.